So I was told that I was going to get a car for my three months in Arizona, and this is what I got. It is Robert Kiyosaki's old car that I bought. Now, now the guy I'm working with, Ken McElroy, he just bought. Look at this thing. I would start it, but I'm honestly terrified. And let me just give some context. I had no clue how to drive a stick shift. And then he said, oh, okay, well, why don't you just drive this vintage Porsche stick shift that rumbles so loud? This is incre <laughs> incredible. I'm honestly at a loss of words. When you get it, it is such a rush. Look at this thing. And the light, I don't know how good it looks right now. The doors, I mean, this is a proper old car. Uh, I, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know anything about cars. I do have what it's called. And let me try and find that right now. Because if you're a car guy, I'd like to know what the hell kind of car this is. So I've moved in to the new place. If you saw that car, that is fucking insane. It is absolutely insane. The new place is nice. I'm honestly scared. I'm in a nice area, but the car is so nice and so old that I'm scared to mess it up. I was, it's my first time driving a stick shift today. Why the, what the hell is wrong with Ken McElroy? Why would he give me a, oh, I don't even want to think about how much money that car is. I know that he got it from Robert Kiyosaki three or four months ago. That's what he told me. He said he got a good deal on it because Robert, they're obviously like best buddies, but also because Robert's getting old and it's getting tough for him to drive that car. And I can understand why. That was incredibly difficult to drive. I was driving a stick and you, you know, when you, if you've driven a stick before, you're supposed to step on the clutch and the gas and that's supposed to go. But the, the one gear, when you go up, it's, it is only meant to be going like five miles an hour. So you have to quickly go to second gear. And then that is only meant for like 15 miles an hour. And then if you're at, a, at Scottsdale, Arizona, and the lights are, you're in a three lane kind of light highway type of ordeal, then you have to step on it quickly reshift go out into third gear and that only goes up to maybe 25 maybe 35 miles an hour then you have to go back uh, uh, clutch into fourth gear it was <laughs> stressful i was pooping my pants as i was driving fuck i'm i was living here two years ago maybe living in a motel now this is a nice apartment it's right in old town scottsdale and i'm driving a fucking 19 I, i'll pull it up it's a 1957 porsche a, a personal car from ken mcgore that he bought from robert kiyosaki what the hell is my life honestly what the hell is my life this is insane it's insane i don't even know what to think right now i honestly believe that i could be the luckiest human to ever step foot on the planet earth so now i'm gonna work so hard to where He's not going to regret it. Honestly, I'm scared about crashing that thing. I, I wish I just had some shitter so I could just drive to the gym. I want to get groceries because I'm starving right now, but I was too scared to drive it in the dark and go to the gro even going to the grocery store in that car. It's a convertible. So the top's down. You don't know if someone's going to come in there and do whatever to it because it's so nice. Oh, man. I, I guess you'd call that first world problems though, huh? I'm sorry for walking around, but I don't have a desk. The office is amazing, is amazing. Well, I'm going to show results. And I think Ken knows how to motivate somebody, giving them a, I, I don't even want to speculate how much the car is. Uh, maybe someone knows it's big in cars. I'll put part of the insurance thing in there. This is the brand of car. So if you know what type of car it is, let me know. How the fuck did I get this lucky? <laughs> I guess it's it's part luck. Also, he said, Josh, you gave the commitment. You said you'd come down here for three months. You trained the team. You would take over everything. Let's see some results. And Ken, I'm going to show you some results. I'm going to show you some results. That's, this is incredible. Incredible. I think it's funny because they texted me, do you know how to drive a shift? I said, no, or a stick shift. And then I got here and then Ken was like, I hope you know how to drive a stick shift. And I'm like, I, I don't. And they said, well, you're going to learn today. 
And I was expecting just some old little beater. It said, nope, <laughs> nope, it is not an old beater. In fact, it is an old vintage, nice Porsche 57. Holy smokes, this should be, this belongs in a museum, not driven by some doofus that doesn't even know how to start a damn shift stuff. Gear one, I don't know. Let's see, work, I know they're doing so much wrong right now. So providing value, I think is gonna be very useful or very, I think the value will come within a few weeks, honestly. I, I think within five weeks, there will be pretty significant results. And I'm honestly quite confident in that. Maybe, hope, maybe I hopefully, I usually am on too fast of a timeline. I drank a lot, of, a lot of coffee today. If you can't tell, I'm also just haven't eaten anything in the past two days because I was traveling. And today I just have nothing in the fridge. I'm too scared to go grocery shopping because I have a million dollar car. So I don't know. <laughs> it's fucking insane though. So that's, that's life though, huh? It is. It's remarkable what incredible amounts of hard work can get you. And that's really what it was. There's no lights in here. Beggars can't be choosers, though, huh? So I'm going to end it here. Life is just surreal, man. It really is surreal. It is insane. I never... <laughs> uh, it's, it's crazy being 21 years old and having all these things. It's insane. But I'm going to end it here. Goodbye.